Look where we are, bro. Oh, can't man so Nepal is the Is this, is this crazy or what? They're like washing their clothes right there. Burning their bodies right here. I work for Sustainable Horizon because it offers students an opportunity to become to be face to face and literally hand in hand with the lifeline of a uh, country. Yeah. Namaste! 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 Hi, Namaste, little one. <laughs> you say what did your name? What is my name? I'm Spencer. Spencer? <laughs> I'm Rasper. Nice oh my god! I met a Nepali first in Germany and his family, they were suffering from tuberculosis and I wanted to help him. This was my, my aim, just to help him. And I came to Nepal first with some money. We did a fundraising in Germany. And once I came into Nepal, I saw lots of uh, poor and needy children in this country. And this gave me the feeling I have to do much more. And I think it's the best to do to help uh, needy children. It's the best to do for this world. Well, in the first place, like before even considering the language barrier, I'm just really uncomfortable around like small children. Then I got there and I was just like a jungle gym. <laughs> They're doing a service project that really helps the community. We can start on the line. Push it. Push it. Protection. Yeah. How do you? We also um, hope to build something in this community and the children, something that will last a very long time and make a difference in their life and make their lives better. Thank you, bud. You guys played and played and played the first night. Uh, you guys played every opportunity you had until you ran out of energy. You played with these kids, and in a lot of cases, you fell in love with uh, several of them. We play football. Play football? I can't believe this is the last day, Saga. Yes, you. I can have it? Yes. What are some things that you guys are really going to miss and wish you could take home from the experience? 67 children. <laughs> <laughs> You know the cheesy saying, like, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. So just the fact that you guys came and spent time with them, like, um, I mean, that just means, that means enough. There's just a lot of steps. A lot of steps. 
Do you feel comfortable with it though? Completely. You think it's totally worth this like five star hotel? stupa but didn't really realize what that meant and I was just walking around there and I felt like a really strong vibe energy whatever you want to call it um, and I was reading some of the plaques and um, I read that their Buddha had been enlightened and that's when like the major force of the energy that was there hit me I feel like I really connected with that place. Um, in some ways, I think maybe I talked to Buddha or someone because I felt like I was talking to something, but I had just started to un uncontrollably cry. <laughs> Overwhelming. It wasn't sad, it wasn't negative or positive. It was just like raw, overwhelming emotion because of that place. Um, and I was walking around for a little bit, just couldn't stop myself. And at one point, I put my head up against the statue. And uh, I felt like my grandfather's presence behind me, which is very powerful because he's been dead for about seven years. Um, and so it was a really amazing experience for me. I couldn't stop myself crying for like an hour, but our guide walked up to me and he put his hand on my shoulder and was like, no, don't worry, this is a good experience. Many people experience it when they come to this place. So I feel like I really connected with that place and Buddhism, and it's made me want to explore Buddhism more and explore, explore my own spirituality a little bit more. The Buddha taught that attachment is the cause of all suffering. But we are not getting attached to here, to Nepal. Maya Launa Levi Taipari. 